Ken Reed on the mound from Williams Stadium in Lynchburg, Virginia, where Liberty has won 12 straight. Hello, beautiful people. Welcome to the Wim Stadium in Lynchburg, Virginia. Home of the Liberty Flames will take on the Jackson Jacksonville State Gamecocks. Overall, overall, it's 5-1. I'm Carter Blackburn. Seven days ago, the stunning loss for Liberty against Kennesaw State. The undefeated season and dreams of a college football playoff out the window for Liberty. Head coach Jamie Chadwell was especially frank with us yesterday, saying, honestly, I don't know how we'll respond. So we welcome in the College Football Hall of Famer, Luke Keekley. And that's the major question for Liberty. How do the Flames respond? I think a lot of it starts with leadership on both sides of the ball. Jerome Jolly on the defense side of the ball. Caden Salter on the offensive side of the ball. Those guys got to step up and have a, a unified message for this team that, hey, regardless of what happens, that way to keep moving forward. And a tough task against Jacksonville State is one more straight with one of college football's toughest quarterbacks, Tyler Hunt. Tyler Huff has been great for them. He's, he's a big part of what they do on the offensive side of the ball. 350 yards rushing the last four games. He's got over 600 yards in the year. The thing that separates him from a typical running quarterback, he's big. He's got great size. He's six foot, 215 pounds. He's just a big physical body. Talking to these coaches, they tell us how competitive of a guy he is. Two rushing touchdowns a week ago. For Liberty last season, everything went right. Undefeated regular season. They avoided injuries. This year, not so much. Tonight, they are potentially without their top three wide receivers. Reed Smith did warm up. He will try to go. Austin Henderson is out in tight end. That puts a whole lot more on quarterback Hayden Salter. Absolutely. And I bet if you ask him, he'd love this. He wants it on his shoulders. I bet there's going to be more in the run game with his legs. He's got to rely on some of these guys he's not typically used to throwing the ball to. And that leads us to our keys to the game. Keys to the game for Jacksonville State. Hey, stay the course. Keep running the football. They've been so effective on defense. Keep the ball in front of you. It's an aggressive so offense. Like so key to the game is coolly needs to heat up and rush. limit penalties. Liberty University, you gotta keep cool. Yeah, we gotta, gotta see, it, yeah, we gotta, see, the we gotta see, eliminate the, those penalties. I'm telling you. On a beautiful night here in Lynchburg, Virginia, this is the sixth meeting between Jacksonville State and Liberty. The only meeting as conference opponents in CUSA last year in Jacksonville, Alabama, was an 18-point Liberty win. 68 degrees as we get set for kickoff between Jacksonville wow. State. And Liberty. Not a music thing that I do remember. And we are underway. Here we go. There is Tyler Hoff, the sixth year senior, three years at Presbyterian FCS, two years at Furman. He was the so called offensive MVP. 2023, first year at Jacksonville State. Didn't start the year, but he has been remarkable since he got the job. Yeah, let's take a look at our record. Our record is 5-1. That's very good. In Jacksonville State, Gamecocks, they only got 4-3. Now, the team we're rooting for today's, our, I'm sorry, our tonight's game will be is Liberty Flames. Run first offense for Jacksonville State. And Hawk will pull it and scramble for 15 yards on his first carry. All right, let's see how he does since it's not a turn yet. Offensive starting lineup, Dion right. Harkin has taken over at center after Brock Roby went down with an injury. Traced him with the feature back. Absolutely. He's, he's a slasher. He's physical. He's not the biggest guy, but he's certainly able to run through arm tackles. He's explosive in open field. Alfred's USA's leading rusher. Hoff pulls it again, and Hoff takes a pop. Jolly, the first to hit Tyler Hobbs. We look at the Liberty defense. TJ Bush. All right, let's take a look at the defensive lineup. Put a lot of size and size on this offseason, and he's just he's so active in the run game. He can squeeze, he can burst to the football. He's got great speed from sideline to sideline as a deep tackle. On the back end, Quentin Reese, the fifth year senior, all five years at Liberty, becoming a rarity in college football. Hoff fakes it, first toss. He's incomplete. Intended for Cam Vaughn, and that was just a misfire from Hoff. Yeah, it looked like they had a little bit of a miscommunication. The corner was playing off. There's a lot of separation between the wide receiver and the corner. I think the 
said they were expecting Tyler Hope to expect him to just run a five-yard hitch, run five yards up, turn around, put it right on his chest, but he kind of ran an in-breaking slant, a little bit off, a little bit off right there, big third down early here for Liberty's defense. Jacksonville State has not been especially good on third down this year either. On third and seven, Humphrey's chase, Wow! Oh. And this all starts with the guys at the inside. The two linebackers line up in the A gaps. Then they both go. They, and then they drop the two linebackers outside. So the linebackers line up on the outside looking like defensive linemen. They put the two big guys inside. Where typically linebackers would line up. They drop the outside guys, rush the big guys inside. Just too much pressure in the, in the beginning part of that that drive for uh, for Jacksonville State. So Liberty gets the early stop on defense. It'll be Jack Dawson, the senior from Australia. Hunting to Rylan Green. The rollout, there's contact, no flag. The ball checks up at the 38-yard line where Liberty will down it because Dawson was on the roll, not protected from contact to the punter. I think that I think that ball might have hit a, a Liberty a Liberty player. That's why they jumped on it right there. Hit him right in the back. The ball got kicked. It hit a guy in the back on Liberty, and that's why they fell on the ball there. 31 yards on the punts. So, advantage Liberty early. Good field position for the Plains offense, led by the redshirt junior from Cedar Hill, Texas, Keith Salter. We have an early discussion with our referee, Rodney Burnett, and his crew. They have not told us they're going to replay with you. I wonder if they're looking at. I don't wonder if they're looking at Jacksonville State running to the punter there. But I think you made a good point, Carter. He's rolling outside the pocket. They don't know if he's a runner, if he's a punter. He loses his ability to be protected once he gets outside the tackle box there. He certainly runs into that into that kicking leg. Go we'll take a look at it on the monitor. Our replay official tonight is Jim Campbell. You saw Rich Rodriguez, Jacksonville State head coach, going to the tablet on the sideline and take a look as well. I mean, there's no question that Dawson was contacted. Certainly contacted Liberty, but then the Flames get on top of the football. Well, good field position for Liberty to start this first drive on the uh, uh, so, so we on CBS Sports Network for our tonight's game. I wonder if uh, at 7.30, there is going wow, to be women's volleyball. Oh, Penn State versus Michigan Wolverines. And then also at 9.30, there's going to be Washington versus Oregon. Sing. Your recording is set. Women's College Volleyball, Oregon at Washington. Today, 9.29 to 11.31 p. on 855 BGPHH. Your recording is set. Women's College Volleyball, Michigan at Penn State. Today, 729 to 931 p.m. on 855 BGPHH. Tony, it's two, two running backs in the backfield. Von Blue's going to be the other guy. He's more of a pitch back. He's got more speed. He's more lateral. The offensive line does a really good job up front. They pull the backside guard. He comes around, kicks out, quick cooley, hits it downhill in the A-gap. A 17-yard game for Cooley. Julian Gray joins him. In the backfield on first and ten. So Gray, who's a wide receiver, and now he motions out on first down. Cooley on the right side. Another huge pull as Cooley goes rolling to the 26-yard line. The Liberty offensive line setting the tone early. Latimer finally makes the stop. Yeah, John Paul Flores gets out in front. So does Bentley Hanshaw. And they've got guys out in space. So all Quinn Cooley's got to do is got to get behind those two big guys, follow it on the perimeter, and again, another first down run. That's now again, our record is really good. It's five and one in Jacksonville State. Game has got four and three. Small up front. 
And we are halfway mid through the season, Why that's all. We're in the Conference USA. Rich is so, yeah. Wow. We'll be right back. 